is Jeff Ross. I'm from Spokane, Washington. I work with Youth for Christ, and I run City Life Centers there in our city, working with at-risk youth. And uh, I'm gonna share my story. It's a story coming out of just drugs and violence. Um, started when I was a young kid um, with just drugs, alcohol, weed in the home, probably around 11 years old. I started dabbling into that stuff because it was just in the home. And uh, I started drinking, smoking weed around 11 years old. And then into middle school, just drinking more heavy and, and smoking weed. And uh, into high school and stuff, I used to work out a lot and I was slamming steroids and pushing steroids, um, selling to um, college campuses and stuff. And I just stocked up on about quarter million dollars worth. And my mom found those, all my bags loaded with syringes and she called the sheriff's department and turned me in. Um, I was looking at probably 15 years in prison for that big bust. Um, in high school too, around 17, I was uh, running rock cocaine in the Altamont area, um, hunting people down with assault rifles, bombs, just super violent. Um, I was all about just uh, that fast cash and I'd do anything just to get, get more things, stuff, money. And uh, I ended up moving in with my girlfriend senior year of high school and my girlfriend's dad was a big organized drug dealer and he taught me the ropes on how to grow weed and stuff and make some really fast cash and uh, I made like thirty thousand dollars on that first crop I had 99 plants per room and uh, you know that was my life and I decided that at that point on that's what I'm gonna start doing and so uh, over the next seven years um, People would pay me to come in, set up shop in their house, give me the keys of their house. I'd come, you know, move the stuff, um, give them their cut, take my cut. And uh, I was making about $30,000 every crop, you know, times five houses for seven years. Um, just doing a lot of drugs and stuff, doing big drug runs back to Seattle and back. And, and that's just all I knew. Those are the people I hung with. Um, ended up getting into cocaine and meth and pushing millions of dollars worth of cocaine, meth, weed, and everything over that seven year period of time. Had all the toys, money, anything you can imagine, but inside I was just a train wreck. I tried suicide nine times, nine failed attempts. Um, share one of the stories is um, one day I was gonna commit suicide and I popped two, uh, 200 hits of speed and 48 sleeping pills. Um, I was roid raging, got in a big fight with six cops on the busy street of division there in Spokane and they handcuffed me to an ambulance stretcher and took me into the psych wards and stuff and uh, been in and out of those places just with all the <clears throat> suicide and just, just a reckless life, hopeless life. It was just all about the cash life, but man, like I said, man, I just wanted, I, I just wanted it to end. I just had, didn't know ha have any purpose in my life. And uh, that's all I knew was just hustling drugs. And so fast forward, 24 years old now, after doing that for all those years, uh, one night I decided to end it all. I was by myself in my living room floor. And at this time I'm using probably close to $10,000 a month of cocaine, meth, weed, slamming fists of alcohol just all the violence, all the paranoia that went with that lifestyle of just living my whole life, looking out my mini blinds and rear view mirror and wherever I went. Um, it just took a toll on my life. And so I grabbed my assault rifle, threw it to my head and decided to take a chance on Jesus to see, <clears throat> I had nothing else to lose, see, see if he was for real or not. And so I just called out on the name of Jesus. And I said, Jesus, if you're for real, like I need to know right now because I'm out, I'm done. And uh, man, the power of the Holy Spirit hit me so hard. It was like a lightning bolt strike that day. Um, I was 24 years old, man. And I just felt instantly like all the paranoia and all the torment just instantly lifted. It instantly broke. And then I just had like peace and joy just flooded my soul. And it was powerful. It was the most powerful encounter that I've ever had in my life. And I never touched or used anything since that day. And that was 23 years ago. And I couldn't quit my addiction on my own. It was just getting worse and worse and worse. You know, it starts out with weed and then went to cocaine and meth and all the other stuff. And so um, Jesus can break anything um, if you just take a chance on him and give your life to him and surrender to him. And that's my story.